Hey there, sign of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. Um, hope you're doing really good. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's get get this going. Calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. Let's get messages. That's for your highest timeline. That's what we're looking for at least. The highest timeline for our Scorpios. This is a general reading. However, the first oracle is called the lover's, lover's oracle, but everything has a little love in it. So, let's see. If something comes out, they kind of look similar. All right, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. Playfulness. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Don't make decisions based on what you think you should do. Be playful and um, don't make decisions based on what you feel you should do or say or act or, you know what I'm saying. All right, for Scorpio, this is angel number messages for Scorpio. Next 48 hours, whenever it really resonates, 222. Two, two. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. I am balanced. Two, two, two. I am balanced. That's nice. I like that. I'm feeling drawn to, um, let me put that there so if you don't want to read it, you can. The, um, the witch's oracle. And do the Witch's Oracle for Scorpio. Whoa, that's a lot for all of those. I don't think I'm going to take those. I definitely will take that. I'll do a different deck. Cauldron, the Womb, 26. Cauldron, the Womb. 26. Okay, the vibration is the sacral chakra. The void potential and wise intention. So the cauldron symbolizes the void, the deep source of creation. It says it's time to create your own reality. Seeds of creation are being sown. Literally, it says seeds of creation are being sown and on the high note for this. Seeds of creation are being sown. And this one says, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them. Your thoughts really, really making a difference. It's coming true like the special mix that's like your, your blend for whatever you're creating. All right, let's see, let's get, um, yeah, let's get a different um, oracle card when they're acting kind of crazy like that. Let's see, the witch's oracle, that was this one, and then I'm going to do this one, the soul's journey lesson cards. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. The peace. Peace and harmony. Peace and peaceful resolution like with the two of swords. The uh, southern oracle for Scorpio. 
What's the Southern Oracle got to say? And then we'll get into your tarot. Forty bump on a log, lazying around, loafing, inertia, a false start, non-response, or disinterest. Kind of feeling that, um, well, maybe you're camping or hiking. <laughs> maybe you've seen a bear or seen one. Because it reminds me of the ones, um, the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Cute. So, a false start. We're just not quite ready to start. <laughs> not quite ready to start. Oops, I thought I was ready. No, I'm not ready. Hang on. So what is this about? Scorpio, what's this about? We are going to ask the tarot, and this one is the dream, dream keepers tarot. For Scorpio, next 48 hours, and for whenever they feel it resonates. All right, what is the issue for Scorpio? Five of Swords. Um, in this deck, the Dream Keeper's Tarot, the Five of Swords to me looks like a person who's being pulled in like a lot of directions with the octopus arms, right? Looking like she has almost a lifeline to something in the skies. Maybe she's got assistance. Maybe that's the connection to the divine. But there would be a current uh, conflict if that were in the upright. It's in the reverse. So some way of making peace or coming out of conflict, like this card suggests, is the issue. Two, it is about a, either a relationship or some kind of deal, something, or two people get along. Relations, cooperation leads to dropping conflicts. What's the challenge here? Legal, like legal paperwork, legal commitments, prior commitments. Uh, it could be about proposals, like either work or um, a commitment like relationship ending or not wanting to uh, be conflicted over something, maybe not being conflicted over um, how you feel in a commitment or about a commitment. Okay, the heart of the matter, the heart of the matter here. The Ace of Swords is that. Um, you're honoring this commitment energy, this Taurus energy, with the Hierophant. The challenge might be, it also might be about information, the challenge being information, you know, like downloads um, regarding maybe information that you might need clarity on, like going within oneself, finding the balance and peace within. So maybe something gave you clarity about that. What is the past energy about or regarding? So for Scorpio, we have King of Cups. This could have been a new character entering your life, bringing love, kindness. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could be. Or like, um, I don't know, entering a new phase of how you handle or deal with your emotions. Might be talking about balancing also out emotions. Okay, the now, in the now moment, have the emperor and looking a lot like the hierophant to me in this deck, which is the challenge. It's something about authority or the way. There's a challenge in the way that it's either always been done before, or, or that the way that they're doing it now. It's taking a lot more time than it did before. That could obviously make sense. 
Mm. The emperor could be talking about an Aries also, but it could be about, you know, um, coming up with a strategy, maybe a peaceful strategy to have no conflict. <laughs> Wow, got a lot of kings involved, got a lot of action energy, but yet not. So near future, though, does have action energy with the king of wands. That's the energy. Leo, Aries, Sag, it could be any of those or um, just a successful creation. It's something that you build a wealthy, inspiring, creative person successful how do you feel so it's kind of like you feeling like the emperor energy knight of pentacles in reverse you feel like something was taking too long or is taking too long maybe to get to this resolution maybe this feels like it took too long um or in some way wasn't to your standards reliable or dependable here Okay, in the situation in the environment, Nine of Pentacles, reaching out maybe for assistance and having a win at doing that. So achieving maybe financial windfall through something or someone else through assistance or something. So doing something in collaboration possibly, hopes or fears. It may be um, help, like starting a business. Um, okay, so this is just letting go of your past regrets, disappointments, losses. It's like, okay, cutting your loss, but it's fine. You don't have to think about it all the time. You don't have to dwell about your losses all the time. In fact, you're not just, we shouldn't do that. It's facts. Okay, the outcome is... Strength card may be a, a Leo. Doesn't have to be though. You've also got Aries coming out strong. Fates on the bottom. When it's like this to me, it means that you feel like you've been unlucky in something lately or something like that. When you look outside yourself or around yourself. I feel like you're just now starting to receive, like receive confirmation that the things you've been strengthening on the inside are actually manifesting on your outside. So I think that that is something you've been looking around to and getting confirmation to yourself. So I think that it makes it easier to have this beginner's mind here with the full brand new adventure, beginner's mind can start anytime you're willing to start it or want to start it. Yep. Let's do some tea leaves. I'm feeling airy strong in your reading. Um, Scorpio, let me get you tea leaf and I'm going to close out your reading. Thanks for joining me. Well, heart, love, deep affection, and caring. All right. Thanks, guys. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.